Greetings, my name is Rudimentary Rob. Welcome back to my Valheim series. Today we're going to get our Explorer pants on. Uh, well, we're already wearing our Mage pants, but we're going to kind of make the Explorer pants work as well. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a mission. Uh, we've got the... Uh, oh, from very early on in uh, Ashlands, uh, we uncovered a mysterious location. Now, I'll bring the map up here in a moment, uh, but that mysterious location, we're pretty sure it is not on the current landmass that we have with Ashlands. So, we are just preparing to set sail. Uh, we're taking the materials we need for a portal and a shield generator and, you know, a bench and all that other good stuff. So, uh, as we make preparations, I suggest you strap in. Uh, get your nautical exploration-y type legs on. And uh, let's see uh, see how we go with this one. Yeah, we did have some uh, fair weather for a while, but then the uh, the weather fates uh, decided to show us a bit of uh, less than ideal conditions. Uh, and that is precisely when the serpent showed up. And uh, along with one of his little birdie companions, I honestly don't know if they are companions, but look, we tend to find them pretty close together in Ashlands. Uh, the uh, Bone Moor is pretty easy to deal with as a mage. They do tend to take quite a lot of damage uh, from the Frost Staff. And, uh, yeah, almost zero effort to knock that guy off. Uh, but that was actually the only Bone Moor Serpent we ran into. I was almost disappointed by that because I was hoping to get a few more Bone Moor teeth uh, and uh, possibly the uh, opportunity to get some more scales, but it's all good. Uh, we've made landfall at the uh, location. Well, we believe this is the location, uh, or at least the landmass that this location is on. Uh, we're just going to make a, a little bit of prep here. We're going to pull our sails down because we just, with the uh, birds and the nest there, we just had to... Uh, go full steam to beach the boat uh, while we're fighting off the vultures. Uh, we have a few other locals as always uh, to contend with but now we have our very fancy mage duds and we are sporting something around about 70 uh, in our mage skills. Uh, dealing with these little ones and twos, yeah, not really a problem anymore. Right, well, I seem to be having a trouble, uh, you know, getting my distance uh, right with uh, trying to nuke this uh, spawn pillar with the uh, flame staff, but uh, it's all good. We do end up destroying it in the end. Uh, the uh, usual uh, protocols apply when landing anywhere in Ashlands, whether it's the first time you arrive or whether you, you know, coming to another island like I am here. It's very important to get rid of as many of those summoning points as you can around your base camp. 
Uh, look, throwing down a few, uh, you know, fires or benches or anything like that that uh, discourage spawns is usually a good idea as well. Uh, here, I'm not entirely sure that this is going to be a permanent base. Uh, for the moment, we're pretty single-minded on uh, trying to get to this uh, so-called mysterious location uh, so that we can uh, work out what it's about and uh, I don't know there might even be some nasties there that we have to deal with that we haven't seen before who knows well obviously I do because this is a post commentary but uh, we're not gonna you know throw any spoilers in there at the moment you're just gonna have to watch and see Alright, we, uh, it was obviously late at night, we've uh, popped back to base to get a full rested buff, unload the few bib bibs and bobs that we'd picked up from killing some locals, uh, now we're going to, uh, during the safety of the day, we're going to now set up our uh, stoneworking bench, our shield generator, and just, uh, you know, generally try and make this slightly more secure than it is at the moment. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to underline the slightly part, but, you know, any little improvement can sometimes make uh, a bit of a difference if uh, push, come, push comes to shove. Uh, so here, with a little bit of Gorston I brought with me, we're just going to throw down a little kind of wall. Uh, it's more just to try and protect the benches uh, from archers and things like that. I mean, if, if a critter gets in there, there's not much that's going to stop it from beating everything up. Uh, but, you know, whatever you can do, you can do. So, now that we're comfortable that our base camp is, uh, you know, secure, uh, we're just going to uh, deal with a few, uh, you know, local type things. Uh, that flame pillar is a little bit too far away to be of concern, so we're just going to let that one be. Uh, we are now going to summon our little uh, army, personal army, and then we'll get on with the mission at hand.
yeah, I hadn't done any grinding since the previous episode, so the uh, the episode just released prior to this one with uh, Oladino. Uh, they have literally almost recorded back to back, so uh, the mage skills I have now are exactly what they were when we raided the fort. Um, you didn't really get an opportunity to get a sense of how you know how much more durable or how hard much harder that I'm hitting uh, now compared to you know previous videos where I was I don't know five or ten less mate, uh, skill points I think it's close to ten less than what I have now uh, but that extra ten points I've got to say after recording this one it's I've reached a point now where for most of the trash that I come across uh, I, I'm not constantly having to resummon all of my skeletons. Like, for a big encounter like that, yeah, I might need to resummon one or two of them. Obviously, I usually end up having to reshield them. But for the most part, they've reached a point where, for, for just the normal encounters in Ashlands, they're survivable enough uh, if I remain reasonably mindful of them and... You know, when I come across the Askvans that tend to hit pretty hard and tend to pop the bubbles a bit quicker, if I get in there and, you know, throw down another bubble during the course of the fight, usually most of my companions tend to survive. And I've got to say, that does make playing the mage a little bit less painful than it has been. Uh, but, you know, stay tuned. I'm sure this isn't the last time I will have the mage out and about. And I still intend on grinding my skills up. At some point, I'm hoping to get them up to a perfect 100. Uh, only time will tell if I ever actually manage to achieve that, though. So, yeah, stay tuned. Alright, I could see from the map there that the mysterious location is definitely inland from approximately my current location. But every time I take a moment to look, all I can see is lava fields. But then on the map, I can see that there's, you know, a darker area here somewhere that would indicate uh, possibly something that I can, I can traverse. So I'm just going to work my way back towards that area and see if I can make my way through or whether we are just got to resign ourselves to a longer trudge uh, around the coast before we can find a way through.
Oh, and here we are at another Reading with Rob moment. And i uh, got to say, there is rather a lot of reading to go on there. Uh, in other news, I think I'm going to need some reading glasses because that's uh, on my little preview screen here. It is not very easy to read. So you, uh, you take from that one what you can. Uh, not to say that there's any useful or worldly advice in there, but if there is, uh, you know, have at it. Now, that, that boxy structure on the horizon to the right there, uh, I think that's one of the normal structures that we've seen so far. Uh, but we can see there's a summoning pillar in front of it, so we, we're going to have to deal with that, obviously. Uh, and then we might go and check that structure out, because I think, based on where the question mark is on the minimap there, I think that is what we're supposed to be looking for. Alright, after a bit of a uh, recoup and a resummon, uh, we're uh, nuking our uh, usual array of pillory type friends from low Earth orbit, or low whatever this planet's orbit is. Uh, and then, of course, because you can't do anything for, you know, a minute in Ashlands without something showing up, we have ourselves an Aspen. So, we're going to reshield and. It's just now that I'm noticing that that pillar is not red. It's purple. I wonder what that could mean. Hmm, it seems to be taking a lot of hits to break it down too. Ooh, hello. Uh, yeah, two-star charred warrior is nothing to trifle with. Those things are wicked, and even in my upgraded melee gear, they are a problem. Uh, except, we appear to have two of them. Now, I think we got two because that summoning pillar, see there's a two-star charred twitcher there as well. Uh, I think it's because that pillar just automatically summons the two-star variant of all of the chard. So I focused on destroying that, and I've summoned our flaming troll friend to try and thin out their numbers a little bit. I, I'm not particularly confident. Uh, he does do pretty well, but uh, against uh, opponents that tough, I, yeah, I mean, he's already dead. So, it looks like he did manage to get a fair bit of damage on this uh, two-star charred warrior, so even without my skellies, I feel like I'm going to be able to knock him down fairly well. Uh, I'm just... I, I don't know if that second two-star charred warrior is dead or whether he just de-aggroed. We'll, we'll work out that in a moment. Uh, but before we do anything else, we need to get back to full strength, so... 
We're going to resummon the pet army here and get all shielded up again. And then go in and see what's going on. Uh, looking around very nervously. Ooh, that's probably the, the other two-star warrior up there. He was walking too vertically to be the twitcher and, I mean, that was a twitcher there. So... There is another two-star charred warrior up there, at least the, the one that de-aggroed just went back to that building. So there is definitely something pretty special about that building. I, you know, I've reached the point now where, yep, I've come all this way. I'm dealing with all these very, very dangerous enemies. Uh, yeah, I want to know what's inside. So let's uh, finish our cleanup duties and we'll see if we can get inside and figure out why this place is so special. Yeah, well, you know, I thought I'd re already reached the when it rains it pours moments for extra mobs, but apparently uh, uh, Ashlands had different plans. It decided I needed a one-star Askvin in the mix as well. So, yeah. All right. Thanks, game. Yes, of course, there is also a fallen Valkyrie that's floating around. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're not in the clear just yet. Uh, and uh, we're going to see if we can deal with this Valkyrie. No, it's flown off. So we're going to uh, bust in uh, since there does not seem to be a doorway into this place. So we get our trusty mining pick out and knock a hole in the wall. And, ooh, what is that? Dernwin Tip Fragment. And another mysterious location. Well, I'm guessing that, uh, and we're going to stay away from any of the uh, innuendos about talking about tips. And we'll just say that that is the first part of what appears to be some kind of weapon. And uh, given we've been allocated another mysterious location, I'm going to assume that that's where the next part of the weapon is. So it is a very long way away, so I don't think we're going to be charging that one down uh, probably for at least a couple of episodes because we're going to need to explore our way out that way anyway. Uh, rest assured, I'm not done clearing forts yet either. We... Uh, in the raid in the last episode, we didn't get any of the eyelight that I wanted. Uh, I mean, all the gems are, are useful for one thing or another, but I'm really wanting eyelight so I can upgrade the mace. Uh, but anyway, stay tuned. I'm sure I'll get some in the future. Uh, but now that we're done with that building, uh, with all the effort that has been expended thus far, I think it's time that I uh, I get out of here and, uh, you know, collect my thoughts and maybe even wrap up the episode at that stage, I'd say. Uh, so we've had a few more choice encounters to deal with on our way back to the boat. Uh, nothing we haven't really, you know, had worse of uh, in, you know, recent minutes. Uh, so we are going to get rid of these guys and then... Uh, resume our return journey.
All right, and here we are safely back. Uh, we've unloaded. We're uh, content with our success in this episode. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And uh, please consider subscribing if you aren't already subscribed. Uh, in the meantime, my name is Rudimentary Rob. Thank you very much for watching and have yourself an absolutely fantastic day.